everyone welcome to my youtube channel let's continue previous tutorial about how to create materials using shader notes in blender so just uh, i want to show you something very interesting if you want to create notes hit x to delete this principal psdf node we have this material output node as it's gonna be delete the material of the cube that I have created in the previous scene so shift A in order to search for nodes I want to add diffuse node for example search for diffuse node diffuse BSDF drag it over here then we need to add another diffuse BSDF shift A then search for diffuse BSDF it's over there drag it over there then we needed to mix these two shaders over there just we need to search for that click on search though then go type in the mix shader it's gonna be going to mix these two shaders like this just connected to this uh, socket for example by clicking over this box it's gonna be showing this uh, uh, color picker circle then I want to for example to mix the, this color red color and also let's leave it as it is it's a white color that is going to be mixing these two nodes and uh, just connect it to surface to show up or to visualize the effect just go over the 3 d part editor, then hit Z, it's gonna be showing this pie menu, click on rendered view and you can see the effect just to you want to change it to for example this color, green color and play around with uh, roughness, also if you want to play around with roughness values and you can see the result over there we have the, this lamp, the light if you want to light the scene light up the scene on the uh, or uh, if you want to add HDRI HDRI lighting so the node arrangement producing the material of the default cube object as shown in our scene so let's continue this time I'm gonna be showing you this panel this panel is called Properties Editor and this button as shown here is uh, called the Properties Editor button so material was applied to objects in 3D viewport editor with the Blender node system as I have mentioned previously how to connect some nodes the default Blender scene, the default cube as shown here 3D viewport is selected and displays with a with this green material in the properties the two material buttons use notes is highlighted blue indicating that the note system is engaged also this is a preview if you want to visualize your material over there and you have some you have used some notes as shown here also you can you can switch to a shader editor it's gonna be showing all those notes as shown here do have uh, represented them like this also in this uh, properties editor uh, you can see that surface is represented using the all those notes over here or if you want to switch to to shader editor or go back to 3d viewport editor to show up your material and you have many other uh, factors and other factors and tabs to uh, set up your materials click on the base color bar and you will see in the color picker circle that the R, G and B values are all 0 0.8 which are values producing the default grain material If you want to go back to the 
can also see the, the some materials if you want when notes are cancelled by clicking the use notes button you can also click on new in order to use notes to add a new material a basic material application is used the material selected as the base color for the object surface will display in all three viewport shading notes as shown here when trying to add it and use notes is going to be showing these two shader notes principal bsdf and the material output and also is going to be showing it at uh, at these properties and uh, this material properties the term material is used to distinguish between simple color and how the surface of an object is seen under certain lighting conditions material includes color reflection transparency shadows as shown here if in this panel of the principle bsdf materials don't include visible characteristics such as how lumpy or bumpy surface is these visible characteristics are called textures let's see now how to create a material material is just created when you modify the data producing the default for example the default create color on the surface of the selected object and apply a data to the object the modified data is stored in a cache making it available for application to other objects in the scene in the particular blender file being worked to understand the process open a new blender file with default scene containing the cube object so let's go back switch to 3d viewport editor as shown over there then hit this uh, minus this minus sign shown here and here is the default cube at rendered view in the properties detail select the material button click on new as shown here it's gonna be adding material and you can do some settings and drag sliders over there for different factors and characteristics in order to make your own material for this default cube the cube displays with the default gray material which is named the material the data producing this gray color is stored in the material cache so you can drag down in order to see it better and here we have some data block and some important data in order to make this material the material named material has been automatically selected from the cache with the cube selected the material named material is entered into the material slot which is the applied to the cube as shown in our example it's a material you can uh, rename it uh, by double clicking it you can rename it for example cube material for example like this hit enter it's gonna be renaming this material also this time i'm gonna be showing all default gray material is used to display all new objects entered into a scene now let me show you how to remove a material for example for our cube you can see this uh, minus sign in order to remove material slot click on it it's gonna be removing material and also click on the new button in order to add new material you can rename it and this material is is renamed by default the color displays on surface of the cube so just go over there click on this it's gonna be showing this color picker circle and just drag it to the green color is gonna be showing the color in the rendered in the rendered view of this default cube also you can you can click uh, on this uh, color picker picker circle again in order you can play around with these colors in order to change some features rgb values before clicking green so the you can change the transparency if you want 
Material node system is not being used. The entries in the material cache indicate the material color as shown in our example. And drag and to expand it. Let me uh, move to show you how materials are created using nodes. Material nodes in the basic application allow you to add color to the surface of an object. As I have mentioned in the previous tutorial, instruction is provided describing how to color an object with the node system disabled. So just if you want to show something interesting, just let me go over there and just select Click on shader notes. It's going to be showing the shader notes like this. And we have some notes over there. Hit and in order to hide this uh, side menu, we have these two notes principal BSDF and material output are connected. For the purpose of a discussion, consider a note as a point in a pipeline of information which contributes to a result. In the case of material nodes, the result is the appearance of the surface of an object in the 3D report editor. So let's define what is a node. Here is two nodes. This is called shader node. The node is a graphic or representation of a computer data or instruction which is arranged in a pipeline. Think about mixing colors. The primary colors are red, green, and blue, which, when mixed, is equal proportions produce white. So just move it like this. I want to show you something very interesting to see it over there in 3D viewport editor. So just select this shader node, hit X to delete it. So I'm gonna be using the material output and I'm gonna be using also four other four nodes, shift A, search for the RGB, RGB node, click on it. So also I want two other nodes, uh, two other RGB no shader nodes, uh, just shift D, it's going to be duplicating it, drag it just a little bit beneath this, uh, this first node. And also I want to duplicate this node, drag it just a little bit down. Then I want to add another node, Shift A, to add Combine RGB. Combine RGB, drag it over there. So let me show you how in the Blender node system looks like when trying to connect all these nodes. I want uh, to switch in the 3D view part, I want to switch to rendered view as shown here, click on it or Use the Z key in order to show Pi menu, then switch to it. So RGB should be connected to our color and this uh, second node and third node also should be connected over there. We want to connect this socket of image to surface. Hit the Z key, then go to rendered view in order to show it like this. And this material is not uh, is uh, not gray color. It's a white color. This is called a mix node, and we have the red node. Also, here is a green node. For example, let's change the color in order to get the 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 white color exactly. So just drag it uh, to the top like this, and then like this. So. Here I want to use, uh, use a red color, like this. Just a little bit, almost closer. So I'm going to be using the green color. And over here I'm going to be using the white blue color. And that's it for this tutorial. 
See you in next tutorial. Thanks for watching.